And the place was dominated, our Earth was dominated by microbial life. Seifert has discovered that the stromatolites are made by billions of microbes called cyanobacteria. These right here are the stromatolites that are here at Quattro Cienegas. I have a piece of it here. And if you can see this blue-green rim right here, this is millions and millions of cyanobacteria. These bacteria were to change the course of Earth history because of one unique feature. They produce oxygen. Here at this pond, we can actually see them doing their job. We can see them making that oxygen. So when I get in the water and I actually go up to one of these cyanobacterial mats, if I look very closely, all of the community is making oxygen. And as that oxygen collects in that mat, it produces a little air bubble. And you can watch that air bubble just transfer to the top. And that's actually when oxygen is being released to the atmosphere. Three point five billion years ago, oxygen was deadly poisonous to other early life forms, which used sulfur to obtain energy. Cyanobacteria developed a little molecular machine that could actually take sunlight and take water, and they made a, a, a byproduct that was oxygen. Well, on this planet back then, none of the life was used to oxygen. And it's at that point in life's history, when they began making excess oxygen that got into the atmosphere, our whole world changed in the way it worked. Over geological time, there were enough cyanobacteria to produce trillions of tons of oxygen, creating the atmosphere we breathe today. And they were responsible for changing the way all life evolved. From an evolutionary standpoint on planet Earth, we are where we are because of cyanobacteria and the fact that they managed to fill our atmosphere full of oxygen. Because unless we'd had that gas, we wouldn't have the complex organisms that we have on the planet. You and I wouldn't be here today. Once the atmosphere began filling with oxygen, the stage was set for the evolution of all plant and animal life. The impact on Earth's geology was profound. Over hundreds of millions of years, decaying plant matter from tropical forests built up compressed layers, which eventually formed all the coal, oil, and gas deposits on the planet. Sedimentary rocks like limestone and chalk are made largely from the skeletons of marine animals which accumulated at the bottom of shallow seas. Without life, Earth's geology would be very different. The investigation into the birth of the Earth has uncovered evidence revealing the secrets of Earth's development. Experiments on salt crystals in space reveal that the Earth began to form when mineral grains in the solar dust clouds stuck together. Evidence from meteorites proves that Earth first formed 4.567 billion years ago. The oldest rocks in the world are evidence that continents and oceans were forming 4.28 billion years ago, much earlier than previously thought. Liquid water in meteorites proves that water was brought to Earth during billions of years of meteorite bombardment. 3.5 billion years ago, a billion years after it first began to grow out of the solar dust cloud, Earth had continents, oceans, primitive life forms, and oxygen. The birth of the Earth was complete. A new canvas on which billions of years of geological processes could mold the planet we inhabit today.